How many of us here have ever made a jigsaw puzzle? For all those who made a jigsaw puzzle, we know it takes some time guessing, a little effort into finding the right pieces, a lot of frustration, but a continuous effort towards completing the whole picture. Master of Ceremonies, dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, life is like a jigsaw puzzle. At times, you are very confused how your life would be. But as you move on into your life, you keep on finding new pieces and you keep on placing <coughs> them in your puzzle to make a complete structure. As you go, you find big pieces of the puzzle which give direction to your life. In order to know which direction your life is going to be, it's very important to know which puzzle pieces we actually have with us so that we know ourselves and we can plan our future. So today, I'm going to introduce you to my jigsaw puzzle, my life, how it all started and how I came here and how I know all of you. My life was usually started the same. I was born in Pakistan, Lahore, and my early years of my life were same as a few basic jigsaw puzzles of my life. And eventually, as I moved on, one big piece came into my life. I got accepted in one of the business schools of Pakistan, away from my hometown. Those four years were the first roller coaster ride of my life, in which I actually went out of my home, studied abroad on a university, I made some very good friends, I was uh, opportune enough to find education from some of the best teachers of the world, I went on some of the social exchange abroad. <laughs> in a nutshell, those four years of the life which actually transformed me into a new personality. It was a personality which was much of the extrovert, most sociable and more uh, people-friendly personality, personality which I have never been uh, observed before. This first piece of puzzle gave me a new direction to my life. I knew that business studies was my uh, cup of the tea and I'm going to be working in some organization. And same happened. Right after I graduated, I started working in one of the new, uh, food companies in Pakistan. As I was moving on, next step came in my life, I was invited to come and work in Bahrain. As I came here in Bahrain, a second big piece of the puzzle came into my life. This here I started working into entirely different company. A company where people from five different countries were working. People from uh, Europe, people from Arab world, people from India, from Pakistan, from Filipinos. All around the world people were coming and working here. So this was a time when I actually got a new opportunity to discover myself. While I was once a very extrovert kind of a person, a person who was very sociable, coming in Bahrain all alone, away from family, gave me a new uh, identity. In the morning, I was doing meetings with the people throughout the world. I was I I recognized myself as a person who was very good at negotiating. I was dealing with the customers, both internal and external. I realized myself as a person who is good in selling ideas, in selling products. I I thought myself that. I am a person who is very good to be able to sell any idea to anyone. At the same time, because of this new country, I got the time to self-explore myself. I became more self-reflectory at the time when I was uh, uh, back from work and I got to know a lot about myself. While at one time, I was a much of an extrovert and expressive person, coming to Bahrain in just two years, I became more self-reflectory, more introvert and more thought-provoking kind of a person. With these two main pieces of puzzle in my life, my life has given me a new direction. A direction in which I know I am moving towards a corporate life in which I have to deal with teams and people. At the same time, I am learning these kind of things. So that's why I chose this pathway. Uh, this pathway which is influencing the others and that's why my, I would be planning to train myself into giving the speeches in a way in which I can influence the people around me uh, like this. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, life is like a jigsaw puzzle. There would be times when you will make a jigsaw puzzle, you will arrange all the things, but you will fail miserably. But that's okay. There will also be times when you will make all the puzzle again and you will have to disassemble yourself to make a new puzzle, but that's okay itself. Because you know what? When you will be 80 and all grey haired and toothless, you will be looking back at this jigsaw puzzle and seeing that this is the thing I created. So never stop, 
keep going on and completing the disorder. With this, back to you.